I'm going to talk about the strategies to quit, how to solve the problems of quitting, how to, how to reduce the physical and mental cravings without willpower. So I'm assuming that you've seen the last video, which was talking in detail about the problems of quitting, about how physical and mental cravings arise. So you'll remember from that, that the mental cravings, when you generate a mental craving, that there's actually four stages that you go through. Um, the first one being the regular daily events, stress, having a coffee after a meal, etc. And then the thought of smoking arises and then you get these two other stages that occur and then you get the feeling in the head, the mental craving, which you either resist or satisfy. Now at that point you see you've only got those two choices and you're really trapped. I mean resisting is hard, that's willpower, and satisfying or smoking is not what you want to do either. So we need another option. Now the strategy that we use here is to eliminate one of these one of these stages because if you, this is a chain reaction and if you could just take out one of these stages consistently it really wouldn't matter which one that you took out then you wouldn't progress to the next stage you see so now if we look at that as a strategy you can recognize some of the attempts that other programs or systems used to try and help people quit, whether they realize about the four stages of the mental process or not, modifying events is an attempt to eliminate this stage. For example, let's say that you stop coffee for three months while you try and quit or you stop drinking. That'd be an attempt to stop the event. Or what about the thought of smoking? Well, you probably know or have heard of um, a woman who stops drinking and smoking um, as soon as they become pregnant, as soon as they know they're pregnant? Well, the reason is because the thought of them harming their baby, like the thought of them harming their baby, is much more powerful than the thought of them smoking. So it overrides that thought, you see. And the thought of, let's say the doctor says that if you don't stop smoking, you, you're going to die in three months. Well, for some people, that's powerful enough to cancel out the thought of smoking. For other people, it's not. Now, it, we believe it's too difficult to eliminate these two stages. So what we do is we eliminate this stage. And as part of the program, the edu education of, the, of our program, um, it, we explain fully what these two stages are. It's actually, it takes quite a while, um, and so there's no time to do that now. Um, but essentially what we do here is we teach you what a mental craving actually is. Now a smoker assumes that a mental craving is one thing, but in actual fact it's something different. It's, it's like something has been disabled in the brain of a smoker, and we explain what that is. And when you understand that, you realize that there's another option other than resisting or satisfying. There's another option which you can use to eliminate the craving because it becomes very obvious. And this is so, it becomes so simple. People are, are amazed when they walk out of um, our session. They just can't believe that it is that simple. But it's because that there's something that's been disabled on the mental side of the addiction that needs to be um, fixed, needs to be corrected. So when you take out this stage here, then it doesn't progress forward to smoking. So that's, that's the initial basic way, but what we do is we actually show you a very, very quick way to do this technique. And in the end, you can do the technique here. So if you can eliminate the mental craving just after the thought of smoking, let's say that after the thought of smoking, there's no actual craving, then you've actually prevented yourself from even getting a craving. So we can teach you how to prevent yourself from even getting cravings. And I know this for a fact because I had mental cravings for 10 years after I quit smoking. So at any time I, I could have had a cigarette when those cravings arose. But then once I understood this and I implemented it, I actually don't get mental cravings anymore because the technique is spontaneous. It's a reflex. 
and it occurs just after the thought of smoking. So this is our strategy for eliminating cravings initially and then preventing you from even getting cravings. So then you won't be one of those ex-smokers who years after they've quit, they still say that they'd kill for a cigarette, which means they're still getting mental cravings and they're still using willpower against the mental cravings. So this is the only method that I know where a person can stop smoking and not use willpower against the mental cravings after they've quit. Because every other method, Champix, willpower, patches, um, even hypnotherapy, acupuncture, at some point you're getting mental cravings and you've got no strategy. You don't know how to handle them. You have to use willpower. So if you don't want to use willpower for the rest of your life and be, be vulnerable to quitting, to picking up cigarettes again, you really need to understand this. So that, that, as I said, that's part of the program of, of what we actually provide when, when, you know, if someone wanted to quit smoking with us. Now, let's talk about the physical cravings. Now, we talked about the physical cravings um, occurring in the first week when the nicotine level got down to a certain point. It's the readjustment process that your body goes through to while you're, while you're readjusting back to normal to being used to not having the nicotine. So these physical cravings arise, in, as we said, in the first week. Now, it's essentially a problem of getting rid of the nicotine. So this, this line here is the rate at which nicotine leaves the body. And we know from the research that if you didn't put any nicotine in your body from day one, let's say that that was possible, by uh, day 10, you pretty much have no nicotine left. That's because your body can flush out the nicotine. All day, every day, your body's trying to flush out the nicotine. The trouble is, because you um, keep topping up with more cigarettes, you never actually finish the job. So instead of the body flushing out, it just sort of hovers at, and stays at the same level. So, but if you didn't put any nicotine in, it would, it would leave at this rate and be all gone by day 10. Now, what would occur is you get these physical cravings around day two, three, four, five. Now, our strategy is to actually reduce these cravings down to either zero or a level where you don't need to use willpower, it's just minor sensations that are very short-lived, by giving you a treatment that actually achieves that. And what it is, it's actually a, a, a very sophisticated cold laser treatment that's been specially designed by us. It's not the regular laser treatment uh, that uses the traditional addiction protocols. Um, it's a quite a sophisticated um, treatment whereby you only need one treatment to stimulate enough endorphins so that your body can actually readjust more quickly and have very minor side effects as the nicotine's flushing out. Now you can see here that the treatment wears off, obviously, but then the need for it also um, wears off. So it gives you this, this window of opportunity here to actually overcome this hurdle, these, these physical cravings. So that's why generally you only need one treatment. And of course, once you get out into the second week, your body's readjusting very quickly. Um, there's very little physical uh, discomfort. And by day 14, even by day 10, there'll be no physical cravings, but let's say by day 14, there's no nicotine left and all the readjustment is done. So beyond that point, it's actually impossible to get physical cravings again. So this is the strategy for eliminating the, the physical cravings and, then, and, and making it permanent by allowing the body to flush all the nicotine out. So again, this is part of the program that we offer. We offer the, um, the education of the four stages and um, the technique to eliminate the physical craving, the, the mental cravings, and also the treatment that reduces the, um, the physical cravings and allows the body to flush out the nicotine. So what we'll do now is we'll send you another video just to fully explain the whole program if you're interested. 
Um, and uh, look, we really hope that, um, that this helps you understand the process of quitting um, so that you can succeed and become a non-smoker.